How's it going guys? This is Brandon Grizz from Professionally Raw on YouTube and Facebook. Today I'm coming to you guys about in, uh, in this video uh, expressing the, the true first vegans on earth and the true uh, first example of animal love, animal protection, and how man is supposed to take care of the animals here on earth by planting the fruits and the vegetables, let them grow let the, the animals live off the land just as when man lived off live off the land and how they come together and love and there's no killing no death so that's okay, going to be coming out of uh genesis uh the first chapter the 29th verse uh and the 29th verse says and god said behold i have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree and the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be given me okay uh basically what's going on here god is telling adam and adam in hebrew means man and god is telling adam and he's saying this that uh i give you basically fruits and vegetables to eat and in these fruits and vegetables i've placed seeds in these fruits and vegetables that you can replant and continue to uh provide for yourself but in a way God is providing for him because he's placed the seeds in there so God is showing Adam hey I'm here giving you a healthy way of eating this is the way I want you to eat and to, to make sure that you continue to eat this way and that you'll never go lacking I've placed seeds in these fruits and vegetables that you continue to, that you can continue to eat on and uh, never go lacking or never go home then we get into Genesis uh, 1 and 30 verse 30 says and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life i have given green herb for meat and it was so and we hear meat but in the bible meat means food not flesh there's a difference so we cannot get that mixed up but in verse 30, God is saying to every beast and fowl of the air and every creeping thing. So God is basically saying from the smallest bug up to the largest animal, He has given them, He has given them the urge to eat the vegetables to eat on this earth. So God not only told man, which means Adam in Hebrew, God not only told man to eat this way, but He also saying, He's also telling Adam that I want the animals to eat this way as well. So, God is saying this to Adam. If you bring 29 and 30 together, God is saying this. I've given you fruits and vegetables to eat. I've placed seeds in these fruits and vegetables. You plant these fruits and vegetables, grow them for you to eat and also for the animals to eat. So that's why he told him that I gave these herbs for the animals as well. So God is saying, man, which is Adam in Hebrew, God is saying, okay, I want you to take care of these animals because I need you to take care of the land. You take care of the land, you will take care of the animals because you will feed, you will feed yourself, but at the same time you will feed animals. So God is, basically, again, God is saying, man is supposed to take care of the animals as well by taking care of the land, which we do not see today because man is destroying the land greatly. Man is destroying the land. And it's like a plague the way man is destroying the earth. And so animals are suffering, 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 just as man, just as other people, men and women are suffering all over the world because of the way that men are destroying the land. Okay, now we go to Genesis chapter 1, uh, verse 31. Verse 31 says, And God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning was the sixth day. So this was on the sixth day uh, that God created the earth. And on the sixth day, he's given a uh, man who is Adam these instructions. The very, the significant thing about uh, verse 31 is this. Uh, it said that, and behold, it was very good. If you look in the Bible before that, everything was good. So it was something significant about these three verses 
that God said it was very good. And I think it was showing that man and animal got along here on earth. There wasn't any animals killing man and there wasn't any men killing animals because we didn't have to kill to eat at this time. Everything was perfect. And we say, some would say, well, why did God allow the people to eat flesh later on? But we have to remember, man messed it up. Man messed up the perfectness of the earth because when man sinned and was deceived by the, the uh, enemy, the serpent, the devil, Lucifer, Satan, when man was deceived that way, that's when he brought death into the earth. And then everything that was perfect, that's when everything started to deteriorate, deteriorate or fall apart. That's why I don't believe in evolution. Evolution teaches everything is getting better. That's not true. If we look at the world around us, everything is getting horribly and terribly bad. And it's not going to get any better. There will never be peace. But those of us that accept Jesus Christ, we will have peace through him. And that's what I believe and that's the only thing I believe. I don't believe in any other gods or anything like that. And I know a lot of people are going to reject this. And, and a lot of people are not going to accept this. And I'm going to probably receive some backlash and some crazy, harsh comments. But I'm not worried about that. And some people may take unsubscribe, but I'm not worried about that either. I believe this is a word. I'm a vegan, and I believe this is the first sign of veganism, what we call a day, but basically it's just a plant-based way of eating. So I believe this is the first sign of veganism, the first form of veganism, the first vegans, animal and man, and the first example of how man is supposed to take care of animals and animal awareness and animal protection whatever you want to call it. God placed it on earth, but man messed it up. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Really, I really do. I thank everyone that loved the intro video. Uh, I gave a piece of myself out to you guys. I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to bring you guys uh, videos that come from the heart. Also, uh, fitness videos. So, once again, thanks for watching. This is Brandon Gears from Pe Professional Raw on YouTube and Facebook and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Stay.